Welcome to TechyJack. In this video, we are going to deploy Azure Virtual Machine using PowerShell and Azure Resource Manager template. So let's move to the PowerShell and get started. So right now we are inside the Azure portal and if we go to the home and inside the resource group, we have nothing. It is empty. So let me open the PowerShell, run as administrator. And if I try to run the command let connect AZ account and if I hit enter, it's prompting me for the Azure credential. If I close this, in your case, it might not prompt for the credential. We have to install the Azure module before we can connect to the Azure account. For that, we have to run this command let install module name AZ scope current user repository PS gallery force. And if I hit enter, so you have to run this command let before you can authenticate with the Azure AD. You can see it is installing the Azure package. It has been installed now. So let me close the PowerShell and let me try to run it again. So now let's try to connect AZ account. So this is my account. It is connected, but it's saying warning, unable to acquire token for the tenant. Please rerun the connect Azure account with additional parameter that tenant ID. So let me try this. I will say tenant ID will be this. This is the my tenant ID and I will select this and I will right click it and let's hit enter now. Select the username and now it is connected with my tenant ID. Right now you can see we do not have any of the resources created. I have a two JSON file in my local computer. If we see the deploy VM JSON, here we have a machine which will get the dynamic IP allocation and it will be 2019 data center second generation and the machine VM size will be standard D2S version 3 and let's rename the name of the VM my VM 01 and I will save this. So it is inside the deploy vm.json. Let's try to create a VM by the help of this JSON file. First of all, we have to create a resource group. Let's run the command let new AZ resource group. The name is new RG6 and the location will be the East US. Let me hit enter. You can see the resource group name new RG6 location East US. The provisioning state is succeeded. So our resource group has been created. So let's try to run this command let new AZ resource group deployment resource group name is new rg6 this is the one and the template uri is inside the k drive az deploy vm json so let me hit enter it's asking for the username i will put the username as a jack and the password will be this let me hit enter now you can see the deployment has been succeeded so let's try to minimize this and if I refresh it here, you can see the new RG6 is created and inside the new RG6, we have our VM, my VM 01 location is East US. And if we go and try to connect this, if we see the property of this machine, you can see it is 8 GB RAM, Windows Server 2019 data center and the name is my VM 01. So let me close this. Same way if I want to create a next machine, I can do the same thing. Let's go to the PowerShell. Let's try to run this command let once again. New AZ resource group name new RG9 and the location is East US and will hit enter. And this time I will use the JSON2 file. And here we have set the public IP allocation method as a static and the operating system is same, but the VM size is standard B1 MS. So it will have a 2 GB of RAM and the name of the machine will be new VM. So let me close this. So let's try to run this command let new AZ resource group deployment resource group name is new RG9 which is created just now and the temperate URI is deploy vm2.json and I will hit enter. I will say the username the same as a jack and I will put the password and will hit enter. This way you can quickly create the Azure VM through the PowerShell on your computer. So the deployment has been done. So let me minimize this. And if I refresh this, you can see the new RG9 has been created and the location is East US. And let's try to connect with the VM. The name is new VM and the size of VM is different this time. Let's try to connect. So I have deployed the two virtual machine in Azure with the help of the PowerShell and the Azure resource manager template. And if we go to the properties of this computer, 
you can see the vm size is different this time this has a 2 gb of ram computer name is new vm windows server 2019 data center so this is the way you can quickly create your multiple machines with the help of powershell and resource manager template i hope the video was useful thank you for watching and subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos on microsoft technology such as office 365 microsoft exchange azure and hybrid infrastructure as a service